Here is the current global warming temperature spike as measured from satellite data. The global temperature warming spike is not caused by carbon dioxide because CO2 has been steadily increasing without spikes. However, the current temperature spike is partially caused by the recent El Nino, but it is important to note that the recent El Nino was weaker than prior El Ninos. The recent El Nino was weaker than prior ones because the Pacific Ocean, as measured by the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, has been steadily cooling for the past eight years. Today's higher global temperature spike has been enhanced by the Tonga volcanic eruption. It was an unprecedented event, not only for its powerful blast, but mainly because it was a submarine volcano, which has never before been observed in modern history. It was so powerful that it produced a force larger than any atomic bomb. Tonga occurred on January 15, 2022, near the Fiji Islands. Prior to the eruption, the submerged caldera was about 500 feet below sea level. When it erupted, it instantly vaporized more than 40 billion gallons of water and thrust the water vapor high into the stratosphere. Large terrestrial volcanoes cause temporary global cooling, but large submarine volcanoes do the opposite. They cause temporary global warming because water vapor is Earth's primary greenhouse gas. Water vapor and associated clouds produce about 75% of Earth's greenhouse gas warming. CO2, on the other hand, only produces about 19% of the warming. NASA initially said Tonga ejected so much water vapor that it could cause temporary global warming. So next time someone tells you this heat is unprecedented, just reply back, Tonga was also unprecedented.